I want to quickly ask you about the broader political climate here. The former Montana governor, Steve Bullock, told The New York Times after Tuesday's election, he said, look, some of those rural counties in Virginia should be a wake up call. Folks don't feel like we're offering them anything or hearing or listening to them. I don't have to tell you, Nevada has a lot of rural counties. Do you feel like there's a messaging disconnect in the Democratic politics with how to talk to rural voters? You don't have to win every one of them, but you can't get blown out. Well, you're right. I actually represent 52,000 square miles in Nevada. So in addition to Las Vegas and North Las Vegas, I represent six rural counties throughout Nevada. And mm -hmm. this is why these bills are so important, because it's going to provide historic funding for broadband. Most of that broadband is going to benefit our rural constituents. They talk, my constituents in rural Nevada talk to me about the uh, expenses related to uh, housing, and that is something the Build Back Better bill is going to help do, as well as the elder care and lowering prescription drug costs for seniors and for others that are in the health care uh, con healthcare consumers who are depending on Congress to act to lower prescription drug costs, particularly for Medicare beneficiaries. This is what's at stake, and, and these bills help all of America. And this is something pr that President Biden has been very focused on, mm -hmm. is addressing equity in rural America and urban America, not leaving any community behind or any per person behind. And that's why these two bills are historic and Democrats are delivering for the American people.